Well, a big opportunity for the Utah football program and perhaps the biggest game of the Dana Dimmel era. At least it feels like it. The Miners are 2-1 coming into this game, and a win over New Mexico could conceivably start, spark a 4-1, maybe even a 5-1 start to the season. It also carries some weight when you consider the opponent, right? An old whack rival in the New Mexico Lobos. This will be the 79th all-time meeting between these two programs, but the first since 2014, which begs the question, is this still a rivalry, the Lobos and Miners? Oh, yeah, I think it's a great rivalry for the fans. There's no doubt about it. You know, I think any time we play an old wax school that the fans love it and the proximity of the two games and the recruiting, you know, we recruit a lot of the same guys and there's a lot of similarities between the two programs. I think it's going to be, a, you know, a very intense game. I think they're going to come out trying, you know, be, a, you know, trying to out-physical us. Um, I think that, you know, our, uh, the fans from there, they're going to try and come down, try and create some noise for them. Uh, I mean, hopefully, uh, I think uh, the UTEP minor fans, I think they're going to come out pack the stadium for us. One thing to note heading into this game, UTEP will not have Walter Don Jr. available, wide receiver for the Miners. In fact, Don is out for the season after tearing his Achilles in practice on Wednesday. He will seek a medical hardship year. Also, had to show you this. On Wednesday, we ran a bite from former America's running back Aaron Dumas, who is now with the New Mexico Lobos. Uh, and he, we asked him a question if UTEP recruited him. His response to that question was simple, that UTEP was his last offer, and that's all he had to say about that. Well, today, UTEP running backs coach Barrick Neely tweeting this. Sometimes your last offer is your best offer. I'm not saying these two things right here are related. I'm just saying you be the judge. Lobos, Miners, Saturday at Sun Bowl Stadium.